Hey guys, I am Kyle and in today's video, I am going to show you a OneDrive tutorial on how you can use Microsoft OneDrive for beginners. So now here we are in our PC and we have our OneDrive right here. And now from here, what we'll be doing is that I will be showing you the three different ways on how you can access OneDrive. So number one is from the file explorer, which is this one. And then number two is the web, which is this one right here. So, and the number three is the mobile version. So you can also access it from your mobile. And as, as you can see, we have the samples right here, which is the mobile one and the PC one right here. So we'll be going through the first one, which is this one in the file explorer. So you can access your OneDrive in your file explorer by clicking this button right here in your file explorer. And you would need to log in before you can have this icon right here. As you can see, I have this icon in my taskbar, OneDrive. So you can have this once you are logged in right here in your OneDrive. And then here, once you're logged in, you would have this uh, default folders or file list right here. You would have your personal vault, which we'll be discussing first. And we'll be uh, opening this. We'll try and opening this. And as you can see, this is a place to store your most important and sensitive files, like for example, your IDs and so on. And when you open your personal vault, you would need to verify your identity each time. And this is basically a safer way to store your information right here, which is a really nice feature from OneDrive Microsoft. And you can click on next and we're almost done setting up your personal vault and so on and allow and as you can see right here you would need to uh, verify your identity let me just show you and as you can see right here but we're not going through that you can just uh, go through that process on your own it's very simple you don't need any guide for that all you have to do is log in into your account and now that we are done with that then the next thing that we're going to talk about is this status symbols right here this is very important the status icons so to better explain this I want to go into google.com right here, google.com, and I'm going to go for Microsoft uh, OneDrive icons right here. And you can go into this article, and from here, you can see in the Microsoft OneDrive icons right here. And you have the red circle with white cross, and this is what it means right here. So this is basically, uh, there is a problem syncing with your uh, files in your file explorer and with uh, OneDrive right here so you need to resolve this and as you can see it says it cannot be synced and so on right there and we'll just be uh, going through this really quickly right here and we're not going to be discussing all of this right here and you can just go into this article by yourself so that you can better understand each one right here so I'm just gonna show you a few icons right here so the basic icons that you most uh, commonly would see in your file explorer. So this one is a gray OneDrive cloud icon with a line through it. So a gray OneDrive icon, is, which means you are not currently signed in into your OneDrive right here. And the paused icon, which means the syncing or the backing up is currently paused. And the OneDrive sync icon right here, it, which means that it is currently syncing right here. You just need to wait for it and so on right there. And you have your red with white bar uh, OneDrive icon right here, which means that if you see a red no entry style on your OneDrive icon, it means your account is blocked. So in this case, you would need to uh, maybe talk to a support or a live agent right here with Microsoft uh, OneDrive, or you would need to email them. And then you have this one, which means that you have your uh, errors right here with a yellow exclamation mark. You would need some supervision, maybe, especially if you have uh, it in school. If your OneDrive is currently in school, then you would need some attention and you would need some supervision right here. Or maybe this is just a simple error on your account that you would just need to update some settings and so on. Then you can also fix that right there. And some of the icons right here, you have your green tick icons which means that this is available locally. And this one, it would mean that this is already available uh, with the OneDrive in the web and also your local space right here. And there is always available file on your device and take up space, but they're always there for you even if when they're all night. So this is available for on your local storage and on your OneDrive web. And for this one right here is when you open an only online only file so this is when you can only open the file on web so for example here i have this icon right here the personal vault which means that i have this uh 
uh, green icon but it's not shaded which means that this is only available for online i cannot view this offline right here and then we have a lot of more icons right here which we will be uh skipping because those are just uh really uncommon icons that you can see right here but if you are interested in going through them then you can just go into this article right here by searching it up on google and you can just uh, study it on yourself and then let's go back right here and now that we have discussed the icons right here there is basically no, nothing else right here but to right click on your files right here and we would have additional options so for example this one right here we would have additional options for OneDrive we have the share so you can share this file right here you would have the share options and so on right here and you would have the uh, copy link which is basically the same thing with share so you can just copy the link and send this to someone that you want to share your file with right here and you can manage access which is also linked to sharing your file right here you can go for uh, you can see all the people that can access this file groups and families the links that is incorporated to this file right here so let's just go back into share right here and from here you can uh, send a link to someone by uh, by typing in their email their name or their group right here and you can copy the link of course just like i have said and then the, the next one would be view online so you can view this in the web if you would like and so then when you click on that this is how it would look like right here and as you can see this might not exist or is no longer but you can see it right here in the my files right here you can click it and from here you can still see the files right here and let's say that file was a pdf file right this is getting started with onedrive and you can click it right here so this is the one and then you can just open it right here so that is basically how you do it and as you can see this cannot be open you do, this doesn't have a preview option right here because this is a pdf and some files are like this so your option would be to download it and open it on your local storage and then the next one is right here you can have a version history so this is basically a way for you to tell if there is another version that was created with this file or some changes that has been made so you can see it right here who saved it as you can see i modified it right here at this time right here so you can see everything right here the version history and the next thing is the always keep on this device so for example this already has a shaded icon so this is already check mark right here always keep on the device therefore i have this option right here to free up space and when you observe right here when i right click on this personal vault right here i don't have that option right here as you can see it's not checked right here so i want to click on this one right here maybe click on that and as you can see it's now green shaded so now i can free up the space right there or you could also go for other files that you would need to so you could click on free up space right here and as you can see it's now on this icons right here and now it has been deleted on your local storage and then you can just go back if you want to click on always keep on this file on this device and yeah it has now been back on the green shaded icon right there and then the next thing is the Microsoft OneDrive web version right here. So we'll be discussing this right now. And you'll basically be seeing the same things that you are seeing in the File Explorer version of OneDrive. And yeah, it's basically the same thing in the web, except you won't be seeing the status icons anymore right here. So from here, you can have these buttons right here. You can sort your files through name, modified size, I mean, modified date. You can see it in by via file size right here you can go it for ascending or descending depending on what you want you can sort it that way and you can have this views right here you can have the list view you can have the compact list view and you have the tiles view right here and you have the details button right here when you click on that you can see the details of each one right here so for example i want to go to the uh, compact list view and i want to go for these documents right here this folder and i can see the details of it right here i can have the comments right here on this uh, documents or this folder and you have the access right here and then the next one we'll be discussing the uh, the features right here as you can see you have your share button which you can also share so yeah you can just select the file right here that you want to share click on share right here and then you can share it right here perfectly and then you can delete it also or you can move to the folder right here you can move a folder you can copy 
and you can download right here. It's basically the same thing in the file explorer and you can also rename your folder and you can create album from folder right here. When you click on this one, this is how it would look like right here. And as you can see, it's currently updating right here. So it's creating an album from that folder right here. And while that is updating, we'll be discussing the next things right here. So we have here my files. So in this one, you can basically see all of your files right here in the Microsoft OneDrive in the web. And your recent files, of course, the recent files that you have opened here in OneDrive web. And then from here, you can see the photos right here. We're just going to leave and we're just going to be uh, leave those, uh, create album from your folder thing. So we're just going to cancel that. And then from here, we have uh, the photos section right here. You can see the photos and the videos right here. You can see your albums and you can explore right here. And yeah, you can also have the shared one. So from here, you can see the shared files. The So from here in this section, you can see the files that was shared to you. And this in this section, you can see the files that was shared by you so that you can share it to the other people right there. And you can see the recycle bin right here. So yeah, this one is where you can see the files that was removed by you right here and you can see it right here you can restore them or they would be automatically permanently deleted after 30 days right here so that is basically it for the features of the web version and you have your storage right here if you would like to buy more storage you can click here and you can see the pricing right here of microsoft onedrive with 365 or you can just go for the just the onedrive itself right here and then the next one would be, I'll just go for no thanks for this one. And that is basically it for the web version on what you need to know right here. All right, so now here we are in Microsoft OneDrive in the mobile version. And by the way, if you're wondering where you can get this mobile app, then it is simply on the Play Store if you're in Android and in the App Store if you're in iOS. And now from here, what we can see here in the mobile version is basically the same on what we can see in the web version and in the file expired version of OneDrive. And from here, we can see the files at the bottom. As you can see, we have the icons. We have the home page where you can see your recent files and upline files right here, which you already know what that is. And this shared button right here. So you can see your shared files right here. And you have your photos right here. You can see your vote, your albums, your uh, exploration right here, your places, things, and other stuff right here, your videos and photos. And then the next thing is you can tap here at the top left, you can see the uh, the profile icon right there. You Once you tap on it, you can see this. You have your offline files. You have your recycle bin right here. It's the same thing. And then the next one would be the settings right here. So you can customize your app settings right here, like notifications, camera uploads, import cloud files. Then you can uh, modify it right here. And also your accounts, you can also add an account. But when you go back, you also have this option right here to add an account right here. So you can also do this in the web version. And then the next one is when you go into files, you can have this uh, plus sign icon at the top right of your screen. So this is your upload button. So you can scan, you can upload, you can take a photo or a video right here. You can even create a folder or a Word document or a spreadsheet or a presentation right here for PowerPoint and so on. So yeah, it's basically the same in the web version and in the file explorer version right here, except the UI is different. So that is basically it for this tutorial. I hope this video helped you out. Thank you for watching.